Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm really excited to announce that I'm collaborating with David Bombal yet again to release another course on Udemy. I'm really excited about this announcement, but before we talk about it any further, let's see the promo video. Hey everyone, it's David Bombal. Really excited to bring you this new Udemy course. I'm collaborating with the amazing Rana Khalil. She has massive amounts of experience, works with people on a day-to-day -day basis, pen testing their applications, making sure that their code is secure. Rana, tell us about this new course that you're bringing to Udemy. Hi, David. I'm really excited about this course because it's going to be one of several courses that we're going to release to get an individual from beginner level in web application pen testing all the way to expert level. For this course specifically, we're going to be addressing a vulnerability category called directory traversal. Directory traversal, or also known as path traversal, is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to read arbitrary files on the underlying server where the application is installed. These files could include things like credentials, application code, operating system configuration, and so on. In some cases, not only could you read files, you could also write to arbitrary files, which usually leads to a full compromise of the underlying system. This is why it's absolutely important for you as a pen tester to know how to find and exploit this type of vulnerability. Rana, the question people always ask, is there hands-on? as part of this course? Absolutely. I've structured this course to have both a theory component and a lab component. The theory component is a technical deep dive of directory traversal vulnerabilities. So we'll learn what is a directory traversal vulnerability. We'll learn how to find this type of vulnerability from both a black box and a white box perspective. We'll learn how to exploit this type of vulnerability. We'll also learn prevention and mitigation techniques to defend against directory traversal vulnerabilities. So that's the theory component. For the lab components, we have six hands-on labs where you'll get to exploit directory traversal vulnerabilities of varying difficulty levels. So we'll start off with a really simple case of a directory traversal vulnerability. And then with each lab, it'll increase in difficulty depending on the defense mechanism that the developer had put in place that you need to bypass. Now for the labs, we'll learn how to exploit them manually and then we'll learn how to automate the exploits in Python. Now, the labs are provided by the Portswigger organization as part of the Web Security Academy. And in my opinion, the Web Security Academy is the gold standard when it comes to learning about web security. Ron, a really interesting story that you told me about Portswigger and your courses, I believe something along the lines that they wanted to buy your courses. Portswigger did reach out to me when I first started my YouTube channel. They were really impressed with the type of work that I was doing and wanted to integrate the videos as part of the official solution on the Portswigger website. However, I wanted to keep the intellectual property of my content and so I respectfully declined. Since then, my videos have had over a million views on YouTube and they actually did get integrated in the Portswigger website under the community uh, section. I also have an academy where I have thousands of students and now my courses are coming to Udemy. I love that. I'm, and I'm really so glad that, you, that you've decided to collaborate with me, bringing them to Udemy. Ron, another question people always ask, do you do this stuff in the real world? And I mean, I know this answer. You've got an OSCP, you do this kind of stuff, but just for people who perhaps don't know you, tell us a bit about you know your real world experience. Oh, I do this on a daily basis. I have my own consulting company where I pen test the applications that my clients develop and the third party applications that they acquire. I also work with clients to integrate security as part of every phase of the software development lifecycle. This way, we're more likely to find vulnerabilities earlier in the SDLC when they're much easier to fix, less time consuming to fix, and much cheaper to fix. Now, when it comes to directory traversal vulnerabilities, I found this in many of the applications that I've tested. And like I said, they usually allow an attacker to have arbitrary access to files. So read access to files on the server where the application is installed. And these files are usually configuration files that contain passwords 
to systems that the application is integrated with. And so it's absolutely important for you as a pen tester to know how to find this type of vulnerability and as a software developer to know how to defend against this type of vulnerability. I love that. You know, I love it when people with your kind of experience and knowledge are willing to share with the community and make it available on Udemy where the courses are not that expensive because some people charge lots and lots of money for this knowledge. So Rana, I really want to thank you for sharing with the community and making this available on Udemy. Just for everyone who's watching, Udemy have a 30-day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy about the course for any reason, I can't imagine that you won't be. The, as Rana mentioned, there are thousands and thousands of people that have taken her courses on her platform as well as on YouTube. So I'm really confident that you're going to love this course. But if you have any issues, get your refund, 30-day money-back guarantee. Hopefully, we'll see you in the course. Really looking forward to the course. Rana, thanks so much for making it available to the community. As you heard in the promo video, I'm collaborating with David Bumble to bring my Web Security Academy series content on Udemy. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between Udemy, my own academy, and my YouTube channel? And so I prepared a comparison on the different features that you might be interested in that you might get on one platform, but not on another platform. I'll start off by saying that the videos on YouTube, Udemy, and my academy platform are very similar with very slight differences. First thing is the YouTube videos contain sponsor messages and promotional ads. The only way that I can afford to keep the channel going is by advertising my paid course. And so you'll see every YouTube video contains a promotional ad at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. There's also the YouTube ads that play while you're watching the video. Now, if you were to purchase it on Udemy or my academy, you won't see any sponsor messages or YouTube ads. In terms of subtitles, only Udemy currently has auto-generated subtitles. I'm working very hard to bring subtitles to my academy. It's currently my number one priority. Now for YouTube, some videos have subtitles, but majority of them don't have auto-generated subtitles. Another important feature is the content that is included on each platform. My academy contains all the videos that I've recorded, which is over 140 videos covering 12 vulnerability categories. Whereas on Udemy, each course covers one vulnerability category. So for example, SQL Injection has its own course on Udemy, and Server-Side Request Forgery has its own course on Udemy as well. The idea is that if you want to learn only about a specific vulnerability category, then you can buy the course on Udemy. But if you want access to all the vulnerability categories, then you can access them on my Academy platform. Now for YouTube, we have a weekly release schedule, and so not all the videos are currently on my YouTube channel. Up next is gaining access to a Discord channel to ask questions. Currently, there's no support for videos released on YouTube. I tried, but it's impossible for me to keep up with all the comments and questions on YouTube, and so that's why we created paid courses. If you need help and you've purchased the course on Udemy, David's amazing technical team will be there to help you. You'll also get access to David's Discord channel where you can ask questions. Now, if you were to enroll in my own academy, you would get access to a Discord channel dedicated to the Web Security Academy series course. In this Discord channel, you essentially gain access to me. I'm the one that is answering the questions, and you'll also get to collaborate with other students in the course. Last but not least, we have pricing. YouTube is obviously free. The Udemy courses are extremely cheap, and my course on my academy is a bit more expensive. However, again, you gain access to 50 plus hours of HD content and over 140 videos covering 12 vulnerability categories. And you also gain access to myself in the Discord channel to ask questions. And that's why it's more expensive. So to sum up, if you can't afford it, watch it on YouTube. If you're only interested in a specific vulnerability topic, get it on the Udemy platform. If you want access to the entire course, register for it on my academy. I've added links to both the Udemy course and the Web Security Academy series course in the description of the video. Again, I'm really excited about this collaboration and I look forward to seeing you on whichever platform you decide to watch my videos on. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you in the next one.